Just the young lady I want to see. You and I are going to have a little talk. Whatever happened to... Good morning, Mary Lynn. The next time I have one, sweetheart, you'll be the first to know. In the meantime, would you mind telling me why you insist on crucifying the show every chance you get? Randy, it's 8 o'clock in the morning. I had to prop my eyelids open to get here. So why don't you just drop the dramatics and tell me what's bothering you? This is bothering me. My interview. This is not an interview. This is true confessions. I told you I wasn't going to lie to the press anymore. Lying is when you don't tell the truth. Stupidity is when you offer up the truth. Like? Like? Like this. I'm very proud of my mother. Not for what she did in the past, but how she broke free from it and made a future for herself. I am not ashamed to call myself her daughter. I'm not, so why shouldn't I say so? Mary Lynn, your mother was a hooker. Don't you ever use that word around me again, Randy. Okay, fine. Prostitute. Does that make it sound any better? My mother worked very hard to overcome her past. And I don't want the world believing that I'm trying to hide something. Or that I'm ashamed to call Lee my mother. I don't care what the world thinks. I'm worried about my viewers reading your little gut-wrenching story here and turning off my top-rated show. Why would they do that? Because you're supposed to be an angel, sweetheart. The fans and myself expect you to have a very clean, perfect life. Is that clear? Oh! Randy! Randy! Randy, are you okay? Hey, I'm fine. Like, ow! Ow, I'm bleeding. Oh, I should have been killed by this thing. This is, I can't pull This, this, that was gonna hit me in the head. I was... Whoa, when I get my hands on the bum that fixes this, the hell's going on in here? I, I heard your scream. I was headed back out to the car. Are you all right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. I was just a little shaken up, that's all. What happened? Well, when you dropped me off, I came back in here, and I was talking to Randy, and, and this chandelier fell, and it, it almost killed him. Are you okay, Mr. Stone? Your arm's bleeding. I'll go get an emergency first aid kit. Oh, my God. The rope has been cut. Somebody deliberately tried to kill me. I cannot believe this. Somebody actually tried to kill me. I'm sure it was just an accident, Randy. Ow. Yeah, yeah. This rope has been cut, damn it. Please, Mr. Stone, don't move your arm so much. Well, maybe the chandelier wasn't securely tied. No, no. Every piece of equipment in this studio is carefully checked and rechecked before the studio closes. And if something's wrong, then it gets fixed right then and there. Which means... Which means that somebody tampered with this thing and they're still in the studio. Casey, did anybody unusual come in the studio? Just you and Mary Lynn. And Wade. Wade! Wade, what the hell are you doing here, Wade? I dropped Mary Lynn off for work. I went back out to the car, heard screams. And, and I then came you running. came running in on your white horse. How convenient. Oh, wait a minute. You're not accusing me of trying to kill you, are you? I think everybody knows I'm not one of your most favorite people, Wade. Ow! Well, that's correct, Randy. But if you're going to start making a list of your enemies, you better buy a paper company. Yeah, we well, got millions of them. You're going to be at the top of the list, pal. Hold on, Randy. Wade would never try to hurt anyone. Now, stop being so paranoid. Paranoid? You call this paranoid? I'll show you paranoid. If it weren't for my amazing athletic reflexes, I'd be a dead man by now. You have no proof that it was intentional. Yeah, yeah, well, we'll see about that. Where are you going? I'm gonna call the police. I want nobody, and I mean nobody, to leave this studio until they get here. Is that clear? 